tells the incredible story of the relationship between George Washington and the 19-year-old French aristocrat who has sailed halfway around the world to fight at George Washington's side in the American Revolution, the Marquis de Lafayette. He is an intimate with the King of France, uh, Louis XVI, travels to Versailles to receive uh, the King's permission and blessing to come to North America and fight in the American Revolution, and he is forbidden by the King to do so. Well, tell uh, a very wealthy 19-year-old uh, what he can't do, and you can almost assure that it will be done. He makes himself, he makes his way to the Atlantic coast where he purchases his own sailing vessel, hires his own crew, and they land him in South Carolina. So the Marquis de Lafayette arrives in South Carolina in 1777, and the odyssey of the relationship between the two men who would eventually uh, Lafayette would consider himself a son of George Washington and a fatherless Washington considers Lafayette to be a son. Uh, the two fight each other at each other's side during the American Revolution. At uh, Yorktown, when it appears that the uh, British may surrender, uh, Lafayette informs his adopted father that he must return to France to be with his wife and children, but that he would return once a peace treaty has been signed and America has won its independence.